hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Wushin Sibyl if you're tuning in for the first time and you're welcome to my channel so I have some updates on the accident that claimed the life of fish official and his manager at the early hours of today so fish official has been confirmed dead he was involved in a ghastly motor accident along the Tico Duala road on his way to Boya for a performance that is what I heard in the news so news has it that the Cameroonian recording artist, singer, and songwriter, winner of the reality TV show Biggie 237 Season 2, was in the car with his manager and his girlfriend at the back seat. The accident unfortunately took the life of Fish and his manager while the girl in the back seat was taken to hospital and is undergoing treatment. So we are waiting on updates on the girl's treatment. God rest the soul of Fish and his manager. What really caught my attention is this pastor, Eric Henry. I don't know if he's a pastor or a prophet. I've never heard of him before. This is my first time of hearing about him. So people are saying that he prophesied about an English secular artist whose name starts with L in danger, that he's in danger and God revealed to him that the guy is in danger. This is what he wrote on December 2nd. The credibility of the reality show Biggie Studio is at stake, gradually putting all the contestants at risk for a single purpose. I requested for an envelope and wine in order to change the hand of time. For your mind, you think say the show don't finish. Ha ha ha, he laughed. Be it an act or a deliberate date, everyone who however signed as a contestant in that house shall sooner or later be on custody when the real show starts you guys this is not how a man of god should speak first of all you are asking for an envelope which is obviously money and some drink in order to change a prophecy god revealed to you sir are you for real because for me i think he kind of sound like he's his god and if god had asked you to pave in order to correct the evil that is to befall us then i think no one will survive on earth even for a single day this is what he wrote today when the accident had happened for so long cameroonians have been taking me for granted i hope we are almost in a real show of biggest studios very dull set of people you think i was after some cheap envelope all of you are doomed i don't need your envelopes anymore guys this is what baffles me a lot like i don't know what to say about this can someone explain this to me because i don't understand this is not a man of god speaking because this is clearly not the gospel jesus taught us to preach this sounds like threats to me because the gospel that christ taught us to teach is about love to encourage people to want to listen to what he has to tell us his children not to brag about prophecies when they come to reality and we want to put up our shoulders and behave like we are god because if jesus came and he wanted to brag like that i don't think the gospel could have been what it is today because this kind of gospel even if you tell me someone like me i'm a christian and you tell me that i have to pay you in order for you to change what god revealed to you i'm not going to pay you because i'm a child of god i can pray and things can happen god did not just put certain people i know there are prophets for a reason there are pastors for reasons there are pope for reasons there are there are priests for reasons but then you don't have to use that position in order to threaten people in order to do people in order to mislead people that is very wrong because this sounds like the guy is jubilating like he wants to prove a point that's not the bible that is not what god is telling us if god has chosen you to reveal something to you i think it's for you to fast and pray and inform the people concerned to join you in prayers not for you to ask for something to change god's plan oh god pastor i heal you I really hear you. I think it's not it's not right for people to take the gospel for granted. It is very wrong. And we don't have to take the gospel and brag about it because God is teaching us for free. He is giving us that knowledge for free. Not for us to sell it or to brag that we know much. So I just want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Please tell me what you think about what the man of God is saying. 
I don't know if it's a prophet. Just tell me your thoughts in the comment section. I want to know what you're thinking. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and turn on the bell for more videos. And don't forget to share the video as well. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.